there seems to be a lot of confusion around whether bipod is better than bait and switch right now and more importantly whether or not you should be using this for dps during crota's end and the day one raid bipod used to suck because it dealt 40 percent less damage than just a base rocket now it only does 25 percent less than a base rocket which is technically a 25 percent buff but that still makes it far below something like a bait and switch rocket which deals 35 percent more damage than base the way that Bipod can make up for this though, is by having an insane reserve pool of 14 rockets in something like Apex Predator. So in this video, I ended up doing a total damage output and DPS test for the most common rotations to see how they compare. I did also do everything with 3x solar surges on, and the reason I didn't do everything at just base with like a buff is because with rotations, it would heavily scale things in favor of weapon swaps without surges, so I wanted this to be as realistic as possible to an optimal day one damage setup. On screen now, you're going to see that a bipod rocket hits the Grasp Ogre for 87,229 damage. A regular rocket with no damage perk hits for 118,887, and then with bait and switch applied, it now hits for 160,498. Adding in Wolfpack rounds, which is a linear buff, Bipod now hits for 117,725, a base rocket for 159,551, and then lastly, a bait and switch rocket hits for 215,378. The reason I said this is linear is because it lines up perfectly with bait and switch dealing 35% more than the base rocket still, and Bipod still hitting for around 25% less than that same base rocket. When it comes to the total damage output, just using the wipe screen, 14 bipod rockets came out to 1,527,270 damage. Bait and switch with 9 rockets hits for 1,528,977 damage, but that is only if you never reproc the perk. And then with reprocs in the middle of spamming rockets, this hits for 1,718,780 damage. If you do end up multiplying the damage each rocket hits for at base by the total reserve count, you guys are going to notice that the total damage output values are a bit lower, but do keep in mind that is more than likely from Wolfpack rounds and their RNG. Testing bipod first, here are the rotations that I did. First was just spamming rockets in a Luna well with Ophids on and double solar reloaders just for max reload speed. There are 14 rockets to get off, which means you more than likely need to spam in most cases. Second is just spamming with rockets and rain of fire, along with heat rises for double ick dash. And then third is going to be spamming with radiant dance machines. Just spamming the bipod rocket took a total of 19.5 seconds where I hit all 14 rockets with wolfpack rounds, 3x solar surges, and the buff for well, as I've already explained. The wipe screen read 1.53 million damage, which after the wolfpack nerf should be pretty accurate. And that means we were dealing an average of 78.9 thousand damage per second per DPS. With Rain of Fires on and Heat Rises for the double dashes, this took 16.14 seconds. We dealt 1.515 million damage, which is 93.9 thousand DPS. And then lastly with RDMs, this was done in 16.26 seconds, a total damage of 1.51 million, which is a value of 92.9 thousand damage per second. Do note, I did also try a fusion rotation, and upon doing so, realized that with Bipod, any rotation would just be far less optimal, since it's faster to reload for two shots and then spam them, instead of waiting for those two shots to autoload while using supplemental damage. So don't ever do that, it's garbage. Moving on to the bait and switch DPS rotations, first I tested an Izanagi's Burden special grenade launcher rotation, second was with Wither Horde and Fusion Spam, third was with General Rocket Spam, but I did end up using Izzy and a GL to proc bait and switch, fourth was Reign of Fires, and then fifth was RDMs. With Izzy GL swapping, we did 2.183 million damage in 26.58 seconds, which gives a value of 82.1 thousand DPS. With Wither Horde and Effusion, we did 2.364 million damage, which is a bit higher in a longer period of time, which was 28.64 seconds, which is very similar at 81.9 thousand DPS. General bait and switch spamming with an Izzy GL combo to proc bait and switch and to also reproc the perk halfway through gave 1.998 million damage in 23.43 seconds. This was 85.3 thousand damage per second. 
Farina Fire, you do get two dodges with Ick Dash. So after that second dash, I did also reproc bait and switch and got a free reconstruction round. This was 2.038 million damage in 22 seconds flat, which is 92.6 thousand DPS. And then finally, with RDMs and no reproc, I shot all nine rockets in a row, which was 1.752 million damage in only 13.74 seconds, reaching 127.5 thousand damage per second. All the values are on screen right now, and here are the major takeaways. One, when spamming bipod versus spamming bait and switch, you hit around 500,000 more damage in a similar time using bait and switch. This is due in part to the Izzy damage, but keep in mind we're also honing times for Izzy shots. Either way you look at it, while spamming bait and switch, it should be better. Two, even though RDMs and Reign of Fire are both not the best thing to expect using in a day one, both look to be better with bait and switch. The only reason Bipod would maybe be better is for a really short DPS phases. Third, Izzy Rocket Swapping still looks extremely good for 30 second phases, much better than anything Bipod can offer, and so does Fusion Spam in a Rocket Swap, which is also very easy to do. Lastly, as you can tell by the durations of the bipod damage rotations, you end up hitting all of your rockets in under 20 seconds, where you end up capping out at around 1.5 million damage, at which point you would likely start spamming an energy weapon, and these DPS values would drop off super hard. The other important thing to note here instead of damage is with ammo economy. With a bipod rocket, you need 14 rockets to compete with the 9 that bait and switch uses. I just made a video, which I will have linked below, showcasing how you can optimize finder bricks to get 3 ammo per brick max. With that logic, a bait and switch rocket would only require 3 finder bricks to cap out, where a bipod would require 15 bricks. That's a difference of killing 51 adds in between damage phases and killing 85 adds, which is a pretty big difference. With Aeons on, you are able to cap out at 4 rockets per brick, which is very solid. That makes it 4 finishers to cap your ammo out for bipod, but bait and switch you could still easily get away with just 2 Aeon finishers and use 8 rockets instead of 9. And then lastly, with Cenotaph Mask, you cap out at two rockets per pickup. Obviously, Cenotaph can stack, depending on how many Warlocks you bring into the day one, but that's still seven Ceno Bricks needed versus four to five for bait and switch. I don't want to summarize this video and tell people what to run. For ammo, that's highly dependent on way too many factors like length of damage phases, luck of drops, add density, team comp for Cenotaph, and how many mini bosses can actually be used to generate ammo. But for damage, I do think it's pretty clear that bait and switch is going to be a better option. The only other factor between these two after that comes down to ease of use and the weapons that you have on for clearing ads. I do think Bipod could still be great, and I do highly recommend having it ready to go regardless, but if you can manage to hit your shots and have weapons on for decent to even optimal damage rotations, bait and switch is definitely the move. I stream almost every night over on my Twitch. If you guys want to hang out, watch live and game over there, a link to my Twitch is in the description down below. As always, have a good one guys. Peace.